Now, a severe cyclone has hit the east coast of India. Cyclone Yas made landfall over Odisha near the border with West Bengal, bringing torrential rain and winds of up to 140 kilometers an hour. Over one and a half million people have been evacuated from low-lying areas there and along the coast. A record number of national disaster teams have been deployed with arrangements in place for COVID hospitals in vulnerable regions. I have never seen such a storm in the last 30, 40 years. It's likely the water may go all the way up to the district authority building, crossing the main road for the first time in Diga. No idea what will happen in the afternoon. We are seriously very upset. We are seeing such a gush of water for the first time. We are very scared about what will happen with all the local residents. Now, staying with India, farmers there are holding mass protests to mark six months of their campaign to overturn reforms deregulating agricultural markets. Protests were held in several cities and villages across Punjab and Haryana and in the border with Delhi, where farmers have camped out since November. The BBC's Arvind Chabra is in Chandigarh and has more. Farmers at several places in the North Indian states of Punjab and Haryana and Delhi hoisted black flags on vehicles and houses on Wednesday. They also burnt effigies of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and raised slogans against the government of India. The Delhi police had urged people not to hold gatherings in view of the COVID situation and the ongoing lockdown. About 12 political parties, including the Congress, had extended their support to the farmers' protest. Farmers had given a call for nationwide Black Day to mark six months of their protest. Tens of th thousands of farmers have been camping on the borders of Delhi, demanding repeal of the three farm laws enacted by the government of India last year. The government has been maintaining that these farm laws are beneficial for the farmers while the farmers say these will ruin their livelihood. Various meetings have been held between the government and the farmer leaders, with both the parties sticking to their respective stand. Arvind Chabra, BBC, Chandigarh.